Her assets, just over $25,000. Her liability, $10.7 million. We think Big Papa said it best when he claimed, mo money, mo problems. So you got to say you owe million dollars. I can pay that. Okay, fines, fees. Now you owe two and a half million. Welcome to WatchMojo.com. And today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 celebrities who went broke. Work had stopped. For this list, we're taking a look at famous folks who must have made a fortune or at least a tidy sum with their work, but who somehow saw their empires crumble. Let these financial nightmares be a lesson to you, kids. Number 10, Wesley Snipes. So why'd you get locked away? Tax evasion. He brought the leather-clad vampire hunter Blade to life in the late 90s and early 2000s, sparking a successful franchise. But Snipes may have been celebrating his fame and fortune a little too much to realize that he owed the pesky IRS some tax money. Actor Wesley Snipes was in court Monday where prosecutors painted him as a Hollywood superstar who believed he didn't have to pay any federal income taxes. In 2006, he and a couple of his financial advisors were charged with several tax-related offenses, including conspiracy to defraud the U.S. Two years later, he was ultimately convicted for failing to file tax returns and sentenced to three years in prison. The judge, though, said Snipes showed a history of contempt for tax laws and granted prosecutors the maximum three-year sentence they had requested. Today, Snipes is out and getting back on track after his time in The Slammer. Producing, I did a lot of, biz I did a lot of, lot of, lot of shows, so now mm -hmm. we're doing more stuff on the business side as well. Big things are coming. Number nine, Kim Basinger. Thank you, delicious. This blonde beauty is known for many things, not the least of which are her gorgeous looks and rocky marriage to Alec Baldwin. You really are a tramp, you know that? But you love the tramp in me, Charlie. Then you kissed it goodbye when you made me raise my pinky holding a teacup. <laughs> You won't make me ashamed of myself! What's not as famous is the strange financial decision she made in the late 80s. On the advice of her family, she dropped $20 million to buy the town of Brazelton, Georgia, ostensibly to transform it into a tourist hub and establish a film festival. Wow. <laughs> mm, this makes me smile too. However, when she backed out of a movie deal in 1993, she was ordered to pay the studio $8 million for breach of contract, which forced her to sell off the town and file for bankruptcy. <laughs> Number eight, Allen Iverson. I know I'm supposed to leave by example. I know that. And I'm not, I'm not shoving it aside you know, like it don't mean anything. You gotta wonder why so many athletes continue to make poor financial decisions when they have so many horror stories to learn from, stories like Iverson's. Once one of the NBA's highest paid players, Iverson was a bad boy on and off the court. And within a few years of leaving the league in 2010, he was apparently broke. I would be lying if I said that it didn't bother me. Allegedly squandering his dough on expensive jewelry and other frivolous investments, Iverson took a job in a European basketball league to make ends meet. What are we talking about? Lucky for him, Reebok put aside $30 million of his money in a trust fund for a rainy day. Problem is, he's gonna wait till the year 2030 to touch it. The steal by Iverson, posting it! He won the game! He won the game! Number seven. Gary Coleman. Uh, when you fall from grace, your humanity falls harder than anything else. Aside from his well-known role in different strokes, this actor was also famous for being broke and perpetually hapless. Unlike almost everyone on this list, Coleman's financial burdens were not due to his own mindless spending. After suing his parents and financial advisor for misappropriation of his funds, Coleman lost the rest of his fortune to expensive medical bills stemming from the chronic kidney disease that gave him his childlike look. No one would lend me any money, not even my relatives. <laughs> Despite his success in the lawsuit, Coleman filed for bankruptcy protection in 1999 and spent the rest of his life running strange fundraisers to pay for his medical bills. She's pushing my buttons, and I don't like her now, and the next thing Why I'm gonna do tonight? is leave. So all of you. 
Number six, Jordan Belfort. Is that an attempt to hide your income? <laughs> Next question. I think the peanut gallery is gonna start chiming really quickly. <laughs> This guy's rap sheet makes the self-proclaimed wolf of Wall Street seem like the love child of capitalism and the devil himself. I want you to deal with your problems by becoming rich! After making his millions in the 90s, defrauding every investor he could con with his investment company Stratton Oakmont. How do you feel about these people... I think it's awful. ...losing a lot of money, in some cases having their lives completely turned upside down? I think it's terrible. And racking up a pretty serious drug problem in the process, Belfort's illegal dealings finally caught up with him. Fines and settlements piled up, his company was liquidated, and Belfort himself was eventually sentenced to four years in prison. But the worst part? The $110 million in restitution he was ordered to pay. He's been living his life differently since then and, and paying the price for that. Number five, Janice Dickinson. I feel like I'm living in a nightmare. At one time making $2,000 a day as the self-proclaimed first supermodel, the outspoken Dickinson has attached her name to several reality TV projects with varying rates of success. They're all fat. The entire room is fat. I'm fat. You're all fat. Despite the fact that she seems to constantly be working, Dickinson reportedly filed for bankruptcy in 2013, over $1 million in debt. Including $8,000 to her cosmetic surgeon. Let's take a look at her face so we know where that money went. Reports also claimed that a chunk of that money was owed to a plastic surgeon and an anti-aging clinic. Unfortunately, Dickinson's pursuit of eternal youth and apparently poor financial planning were a bad combination. I'm gonna get through this. This is not the end of the world. I am an American. You know, I was born to work. Number four, Mike Tyson. The youngest man ever to win the heavyweight title. He is looking to exact his revenge. It's easy to imagine how earning $30 million for a single fight could skew your appreciation for and understanding of financial planning. That possibly compounded by one too many hits to the head, a nasty divorce, and various addictions, all contributed to Iron Mike's financial ruin. And in 2003, he finally filed for bankruptcy. Well, um, I was living a life of luxury in prison too, just not the same as I was outside. I didn't have any cars and stuff. Although he earned around $300 million over his career, Tyson ended up in trouble not only with the IRS, but also in heavy debt after he famously squandered his earnings on extravagant purchases like homes, cars, parties, and yes, tigers. Mr. Tyson would like to know why is this tiger in your bathroom? Number three, Nicolas Cage. Necessity is the mother of invention. I've had to work for other reasons that are, you know, also financial. Ever wonder why this Oscar-winning actor, and apparently one of the highest paid dudes in Hollywood, would take so many roles that he must think are unworthy of his time? Oh, no, not the beast! Not the beast! Ah! I'm losing my eyes! After buying and selling real estate like it was going out of style, making bizarre purchases like castles, islands, and dinosaur skulls, and ending up $14 million in debt to the IRS, a situation he largely blamed on his former business manager, whom he sued for his troubles, Cage seemingly did everything he could to recoup his losses and repay his tax liens, including auctioning off some of his homes and his copy of Action Comics 1. Why have you done this to me? Number two, Tony Braxton. Unbreak my Despite hits like Unbreak My Heart and a staggering $170 million in record sales, Braxton filed for bankruptcy not once, but twice. Allegedly earning less than $2,000 in royalties from her first contract after repaying her advances, Braxton also had a rep as a shopaholic, which led to bankruptcy number one. Kind of lost it a little bit on the houseware. Plates and Fabergé and- That's not and, very rock and roll oh, though, but is it's, it? No, it's not very rock and roll. See, I'm a boring rock star. Over a decade later, after self-funding a Las Vegas review show for an attempted comeback, she was diagnosed with angina and lupus, and doctors told her she couldn't perform, which caused bankruptcy number two. But luck finally seems to be on her side, with newfound success in profitable private performances 
and on the reality show Braxton Family Values. I'm also looking for some new background singers. So I've asked my sisters to help me through this. We'll see what they say. They'll probably be a little jealous and upset, but overall, they'll help me through it. Other background singers? That's a bow. Before we unveil our final pick, here are a few honorable mentions. She owes $370,000 and she has to fork it over ASAP. Uh -huh. Nobody mentioned money. Well, doesn't matter because he was going to... Doesn't matter. Isn't that the business we're in? Longtime Hope Sound resident and Emmy Award winning actor Burt Reynolds is facing a foreclosure lawsuit. Actor Stephen Baldwin was arrested this week in New York. The district attorney says he owes more than $350,000 for not paying his state taxes for three years. Do you harbor any animosity towards the Internal Revenue Service? No. No, we were partners in uh, the whole thing. <laughs> no, I hold none at all. Number one, MC Hammer. Money doesn't make you happier. Uh, it would be what you do with the money. Possibly the most famous riches to rag story is that of Stanley Burrell, whose alter ego produced one of the most famous one-hit wonders ever. Break it down. Once the biggest thing to hit the record industry, Hammer's album sales declined sharply in the early 90s, and various lawsuits popped up accusing him of copyright infringement. Although Hammer claims the media has exaggerated his situation, the Grammy-winning artist did file for bankruptcy in 1996 after accumulating a whopping $13 million of debt. MC Hammer says the IRS is shamefully out to get him, belatedly demanding penalties on taxes that he paid fully seven years ago. Due mainly to ridiculous spending habits and questionable business decisions. I can get cash for this gold medallion of me wearing a gold medallion. But one thing's for sure, Hammer was too legit to quit. I'm going for all that I can get, kicking it at the top because I'm too legit to quit saying. Do you agree with our list? Which celebrity do you think had the worst spending habits? What on earth have I done with my life? How did I get it so wrong? For more entertaining top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Oh, 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 oh,